Hi folks, I'm going to show you how to connect the ESO rotator to the Arco. First thing to check is wiring on the rotator cable. If the rotator cable has all three wires connected on top row under the locking lever, you just need to plug it into the Arco and you don't need to connect anything else. However, if there are just two wires, you have to install additional jumper between pin 2 and pin 3 on green terminal block and plug it to the Arco. Just a piece of wire into pin 2 and pin 3. Having a rotator cable connected to the Arco, let's look what to do next. First thing what we have to do is to select correct rotator model which is going to be controlled by the Arco. So I enter setup, going to rotator tab and select the model of the rotator. In this guide I'm using Yezu G1000 DXA, so I select the Yezu 1000XX preset and I get all parameters already preset. For next calibration process is important that the rotator has limit switches and that its rotation range is 450 degrees. I'm going to turn very heavy pencil so I'm slightly increase the ramping to, to keep it steady on the rotator. As was shown, my rotator cable has all three wires from the sensor connected, so my sensor type selection is potentiometer pot uh, with value of 500 ohms. If I had just two wires, I would need to reselect it to the Rio and insert the green terminal block with short between pin 2 and 3. Next step is on heading calibration tab where we do calibration. We can see actual position of the rotator and during calibration we will use 50% of its maximal rotation speed. Now we do verification. When we push clockwise button on the box, rotator must turn clockwise and sensor position must increase. When we push counterclockwise button, rotator must turn counterclockwise and sensor position must decrease. Rotator can be turned also by software buttons on the screen in case you are calibrating rotator from outside using VNC. Having verified proper motor operation and sensor reporting to the Arco, we can start with auto calibration. All we need is to press auto button to start the automatic calibration procedure. Arco first turns rotator counterclockwise until it finds CCW limit, records position of the limit and change direction of the rotation and turns rotator clockwise again until it finds clockwise limit. Then for the final it turns rotator counterclockwise to the center of the rotation. It takes time and it's quite boring so let's make it faster. Rotator has found CW rotation limit and now is going to the center. Rotator is now stopped at exact center between CCW and CW limit. It is the center of your rotation. What you have to do is to tell the Arco what is the azimuth of the center. You have to go outside and check where antenna is beaming and enter this azimuth to the Arco. In our demonstration it is 95 degrees. If you can measure current antenna azimuth but you know azimuth of some distant point when antenna is beaming at, now you can turn antenna to this point manually, as I do too, and enter this azimuth using custom button. For example, another tower at 80 degrees in my case. Calibration is now done, confirmed by the calibration status.
we can exit menu and do the last thing. It is to let the arc learn how much travel rotator does during defined ramp downtime, either manually or automatically in each counterclockwise and clockwise directions. Let's do this automatically first. Arco will turn rotator in clockwise direction until it reaches maximal speed, then applies ramp down time and waits until rotator stops, then does the same in opposite direction. This procedure can be done also manually, key is to reach maximal speed indicated by speed bar graph and let rotator stop by itself in each direction. This procedure should be done after each recalibration or when some parameter in the setup related to the speed, ramping or coasting is changed. From now, whenever Arco reaches maximal speed, automatically relearns ramp down travel to dynamically adapt the turning resistance. Calibration is now complete, including initial ramps learning. You can let it to turn to any direction using presets, touching great circle or sending commands from the computer. It always turns to desired direction as accurately as it gets. Thanks for watching.